Hello again, this is Greg from Advanced Fire Systems. Today we're going to talk about modifying a fire panel, adding a NAC device to it. This time it'll be a Gentex horn strobe. And we're going to modify in the faceplate of the fire panel the protocol that it will use, and we'll tell it whether we want the horns to be off on silence and the strobes off on reset, or both the horns and strobes off on silence. So the first thing that we'll need to do is to get into programming. I've put the fire panel in programming. As you can see here, the yellow light is on. What we want to do is we want to choose the next menu because we're looking for the setup screen. So I'll hit the check mark and move to the next menu. You'll see that the setup screen is right here. So we'll go up to the setup screen and enter in. On the setup screen, we're going to scroll down a number of times until we see onboard NACs. Onboard NACs are currently set for two Class B circuits. Now this is a one loop fire panel and it does only have two NAC circuits. But currently there's no protocol. We're not going to be turning our horns and strobes off on silence. We have no check marks or any modifications to any of those items. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go down to the protocol. Under the protocol, we have four options. We have Gentex, we have Potter MCCO, we have System Sensor, and we have Cooper Wheel Lock. And again, I say we're going to use Gentex, so I'll swing back around to the Gentex. Now, if I would like to have the horns and strobes off on silence, I would put a check mark in this location here. If I want the horns off on silence and strobes off on reset, I leave that with a dash mark. I'll scroll down and hit the check mark there. The next item is I'm going to ask the four potential NAC circuits. In this case, this is a one loop panel, so there will only be two. I'm going to ask those items to follow the protocol. So I simply slide down, hit the check mark on NAC 1. There's the check mark. Go down to NAC number 2 and hit the check mark. At this point, all I need to do is hit Escape, Escape, Escape and get out of programming. So what I want to do is I want to click on the fire panel and open up the tree below it. When the tree below it is opened up, I'm going to go back up and click on the fire panel itself. And then what we're going to do is look into the lower left corner. And in the lower left corner, there's an option box called NAC Options. And as you can see here, nothing has been set up as far as the NAC options other than the panel is looking for two Class A circuits. Well, as we had done earlier in the face of the fire panel, we're going to make a change to the type of device. In this case, I know that the items were two Class B circuits. So what I'll do is click on the two Class A, and I will select two Class B. The next item is I'm going to choose the protocol. And there are those same four protocols again, and this time we'll choose Gentex. Now last time we said that we wanted the horns and strobes off on silence. But I'd like to show you a little bit differently by not putting the check mark on the strobe silence. This will mean that our strobes will continue to flash until the system is reset. And in this case we only have the two NAC circuits so I will click on the normal and I will ask it to follow the horn strobe protocol. And I'll do that for both NACs 1 and 2. I'm not going to alter 3 and 4 because they don't exist.